I like it, but I think I probably need to sleep on it. Don't always have to look so suspicious and not gonna poison and eat you. Good morning everyone, welcome back to My Allotment Diaries. My name is Emma, these are My Allotment Diaries. As you can see, it is beautiful sunshine today. It's hard to know where to stand on this plot actually, so you can see me properly, because the sunshine is so bright. And I don't think we were predicted this today, so this is a really nice surprise actually. Morning Einstein. <laughs> if I ever glare away into the distance, it's because I'm looking for my Robin. I've got a little Robin called Einstein, if you didn't know, who comes and visits my plot all the time for food. Um, absolutely loves it here, don't you? There he is. There he is up in the tree. Good morning, Mr. Einstein. <laughs> Best get him fed first before we do anything. It's not actually, oh God, what's my noise? It's not actually that cold today, but I've got my big scarf on. I've come dressed for spring. I've got my pink jumper, my green scarf. I'm all colorful today. And um, I'm really glad that I am because it feels a little bit like spring today. I don't know if that's worrying because it's only February. Um, or if it's just really exciting and we're just really lucky to get a longer spring. I don't know. Look at it how you wish. The fact is, it's quite mild today and it's lovely and sunny and it feels like spring. All right, Einstein, I'm gonna come and feed you now. <laughs> it's like, start rabbiting on to that little black box that you keep talking into and come and feed me. <laughs> worms he wants. He loves the worms. He loves the worms. Come and get it birdie. You can eat it then. Why are you looking so suspicious? It's just food. It's the same food I give you every time. Don't always have to look so suspicious and not gonna poison and eat you. You'd be like a snack to me. Oh yeah, looking for all your mates, are ya? I get your game. Here we are, look, lovely bright pink jumper on. We are ready for spring, guys. I could not be more ready if I tried. The good thing about today is because it's so sunny, um, I can see exactly where the sun is falling at my allotment plot and I'm very happy to say it's falling on the pumpkin archway which is brilliant. So you can see it's quite early in the morning. I know the sun will change right but the sun will only get brighter because <laughs> the sun will only get brighter what am I saying? What does that mean? What I mean is as the, as the, the, the months go by the sun changes position at my plot so it starts over there in the winter and it comes over to there that's east over there-ish that becomes east because the world moves or something but anyway the sun starts over there what I'm trying to say very inarticulately is that the sun starts over there, right? But as, as we get into summer and spring, it starts to rise over here. And then I get direct sunlight right onto this side of the plot. So you can see the pumpkin archway is lit with sun. This little area here, which we planted up with bulbs recently, gets hit with sun. This will get hit with sun. And I'll have all my dahlias in there. They'll love that. And then right at the back, look, we've got sun now. The whole of the back is lit up. With brilliant sunshine this is just really good i'm really happy with this obviously the more sun you can have for growing vegetables the better and it helps me to position where i'm going to plant certain things um today's jobs are going to be to finish the blooming plot as per usual um this area here needs to be cleared we shall clear as much of this as is physically possible for us to do. Then we're going to make some pathways around here to stop that from growing up. And if we get time, if we get time, we'll start making the raised beds and pathways down this bit here, just so that it's ready to go. And those are my jobs of the day. Those are my jobs of the day. I've only got an hour and a half here today, so I don't know how much I'll get done. But as always, I'm just gonna put my back into it and just give it a good go. We'll see how far in we get. It's amazing what's possible when you've got absolute determination and um, no filter, no stop filter. <laughs> right, let's get this popping, let's get this party popping. This is the last bit of the plot to clear. I can't believe 
I can't believe that we've actually made it to the last section of the plot that needs proper clearing. It's actually amazing that I've got this far. I just need to take a minute just to congratulate myself. <laughs> right, come on, let's do it. Off to a bit of a full start there because I tried to put my shovel into the ground and the roots, they're not even letting me get remotely through. I mean, this must have been growing for a very long time. I'm a little bit scared about what I'm going to find in there, to be honest. I have to remind myself that any job I try to do, I have to remember, it's never as easy as I think it's going to be. It's always five times harder. Right, okay. Just means we've got to put our back into it a bit. Oh God, I'm walking into everything now. <laughs> this is not a good start. <laughs> Right, come on Emma, pull yourself together. Pull yourself together. I've lost my glove now. I've lost my glove. Oh, it's over there. of me anymore. I'm a destroying expert now. Sorry plants. Sorry but not sorry. <laughs> We'll start laying the pathways down here and then up there and around there to join our other pathway that's going to keep this bed kind of maintainable and create a boundary around it this here is still very overgrown again I don't know if it's mine or hers or a boundary so I might allow the blackberries here just to come up give us some privacy um, but it'd be more controlled if I can put a pathway in and stop it from getting to my pumpkins that is very wishful thinking because plants have a mind of their own, they do what they want. Um, if I want them to go that way, they'll definitely go that way. So it's just what they're like, they're disobedient. Right, let's get some ground sheet. Good now. <laughs> right, we've been here a little while now. We've done quite a lot of strenuous work. A lot of that over there by the pumpkin archway needed to be dug out, which took me ages and I didn't film it because I was like, I think you've seen enough of me digging stuff out the ground, you know? Um, this is how it's looking. So I've essentially just created two pathways right around my my, right around here, creating a border, which um, will be wood chipped over and then hopefully it'll be easier to keep the weeds away from this bed and I'll just have to weed that bed specifically. Does that make sense? Um, this pathway here is terrible. It's very wonky and bobbly and bobbly. Um, like it makes you walk like Mr. Blobby. Let me show you. Makes you walk like this. I'll show you. Called a staggering pathway it's like a drunk pathway every time you walk down here you stumble like you're drunk <laughs> it's going to be my drunk pathway that's just because i haven't leveled out the um the ground enough because it was just too much work to be honest and it's not a pathway i think i'm gonna have to use that often because it's right on the corner 
but there we are I think that's looking quite good actually I think the pumpkin archway is sitting quite nicely there just in the middle yeah fantastic just wanted to add a little note here because a few um, a few of you are new and you're questioning the amount of plastic like covering that I'm using at my allotment plot I've had a few comments just like why are you using so much plastic it's because it was already here um, I wouldn't be using this amount of plastic if it wasn't already here but my choices are pull it up take it to the dump and chuck it in a, a big land tip you know and put it underground or reuse it and repurpose it and just make the best out of it and that's what I've chosen to do with it but um you can see all around my plot I've got this ground sheet that I've just pulled up the entire plot was covered in this absolutely covered I've got little piles of it all around the place that I'm trying to clean up and then reuse um, but yeah the entire plot was just literally covered in ground sheet and I've literally just decided to reuse them as pathways um, instead of chucking them away but I do agree I hate I hate the amount of plastic I hate it but hopefully with all the plants I put in and bringing this plot to life it'll kind of make up for it a little bit um, Einstein seems happy and if Einstein's happy I think the rest of them would be happy right the next thing I want to do is work on this back bit here I think I didn't get very far into that because it's an absolute blooming nightmare these canes are just in so deep and it's taken me so long to get through it I think what I want to do is start building this bit, bit of the plot now and um, because what I'm worried about is in the springtime if I don't do anything with this it just grow weeds everywhere and it would just be a nightmare bit of the plot Right, there's no plan for the back of the plot actually because I, I didn't plan on getting this far down. I sort of like, I said to myself I'll, I'll clear the front of it this year and I'll just sort of leave the back till next year but actually I've got to the back. So there's no plan, it's planless. It's a planless part. Um, so now we've got to plan it and do it. <laughs> That's my initial thought of just having three beds maybe four maybe having one there as well just sort of coming off the pathway little pathways in between long pathway at the back but then where would that row go maybe I'll make them a bit smaller a bit smaller and then I can have another long row at the back for the cornflowers and cosmos and sunflowers let's try that so I don't know I think so but I don't know so so if they're a bit smaller then that there that can be a pathway and then I'll have room there to grow some sort of flowers in there that might work you know that might work I think in this one here I want to put a sweet pea teepee in it so maybe I won't need one at the front because I want to be able to walk in it so I won't need that there that'd be a teepee and then this one, I don't know, <sighs> that could be sweet corn because it gets a lot of sun. And then that one over there could probably just be sort of under a tree. So maybe some like salad crops, lettuces or something. I don't know. And then at the back there would have all the cornflowers and flowers coming up. I think I like it, but I think I probably need to sleep on it and have a think about the layout of it. Get some ideas from, I mean I like her little layout there I quite like that but I don't really have the room for that uh, I mean I do I have the exact room look look at the size of that and then it just comes onto my plot so I would have room for that but I've got that back bit so I'm not sure I do like it I do like it I think it will work let me know your thoughts in the comments I tell you what this is quite a nice little Oh my god, it's heavy! Right, well, it's one of those funny old vlogging days where I feel like I've done tons and tons of work and I've been here for hours, but I don't feel like I've actually vlogged very much just because I've been actually working. 
Um, but I think we are starting to get there with the back of the plot now. I'm just starting to sort it out. I think it's important to do this now um, before the springtime. It'd be nice to get that back bit sorted and done. I'm glad that this pumpkin bed is now surrounded. Hopefully that keep the weeds at bay. And then we just got that preliminary kind of layout of the back there, which I will have a sleep on, have a think about, read your comments on and uh, decide what to do really. Next week, a couple of very exciting uh, vlogs coming up. Number one, I'm going to be sorting out the pumpkin archway at last. I'm going to be securing it, fixing it, putting all the netting over it and all the, all the other stuff. Um, so if you're interested in growing a pumpkin archway, join me next week and we will be getting stuck in with that. Um, and also I'm going to sort out my wildlife area which is over there it needs digging out, sorting out might even think about making the pond a bit bigger haven't decided yet <laughs> why not give myself some more work eh? <laughs> crazy, I know um, but this whole area here is going to be a massive kind of wildlife area all under the tree so from here where I've got all those lovely pallets that make a lovely big bug hotel um, get this up on the tree and then this area here just needs a real sort out a real clean up basically, um, get the bird table on something more secure, sort out the bird bath and just have a really nice wildlife area there. That's the plan that I've got so far for next week so join me then, um, subscribe to my channel so you don't lose me and you can uh, follow, follow my progress as I go. We are almost there guys, we're almost in spring, next month is March, it's really going to start speeding up so get out there now, get your plots all in order and uh, I'll see you in my next video. See you next week guys, thanks for watching. Bye.